If you're shopping for a model kit, I'm going to be comparing two of the best sellers on Amazon, the Link Tour set and the Old Navi set. I'm also going to show you my own personal favorite model kit, which is the set that is sold by HGS. The first set that I'm going to show you is the Link Tour set. This particular set comes with 189 pieces and at the time of my video it cost $20. The first thing that I noticed about the Link Tour set is that the bonds fit really easily into the atoms. This is not necessarily a good thing. As I was building um, the models, I noticed that my molecules were a little bit floppy and some of them actually fell apart as I was building them, um, which is not going to be good for students in organic chemistry. The Link Tour set comes with flexible bonds that you can use to make molecules with double bonds or triple bonds. And right here I'm showing you how you would use those flexible bonds to make a triple bond. These flexible bonds in the Link Tour set work really well. The Link Tour set also comes with little short stubby bonds that you you could use if you wanted to make a space filling model. The Link Tour set comes with atoms that have six holes in them. These would be used to make models of molecules with octahedral geometry. It also comes with atoms that have five holes in them, which would be used to make models of molecules that have trigonal planar geometry or trigonal bipyramidal geometry. And both of these would be ideal for students who are in general chemistry. The set comes in a hard plastic case. The small dividers are removable and the case itself is pretty sturdy. The latches did a really good job of staying shut when I shook the case, although I'm not sure how well it would stay shut in a backpack. Next, I'm gonna show you the old knobby kit. I chose a 118 piece refill kit and at the time of this video, it only cost $13. This refill kit is designed to be added to one of the larger sets that Old Nobby makes, but to be perfectly honest with you, this set is large enough for any student in general chemistry or organic chemistry. It contains all of the atoms that you would need for Gen Chem, uh, including atoms that you could use to make octahedral molecules and trigonal planar and trigonal bipyramidal molecules as well. It also um, has flexible bonds that you could use if you wanted to to make models of molecules that have double bonds or triple bonds. The bonds fit really tightly into the atoms in the old knobby kit, which means I didn't have any issues with my models falling apart as I was building them and the molecules held their shape really well. Overall, I was pretty happy with how well the bonds and the atoms fit together. This set comes in a plastic bag with a zipper closure. It will fit really well in a backpack. It won't take up too much space and you won't have to worry about it popping open. Last I'm going to show you a set by HGS Polyhedron. This is a 132 piece set. At the time of the video, it was $20 on Amazon. In addition to atoms and bonds, this set also includes these flat oval shaped things that you could use to indicate a lone pair on a central atom, which is kind of cool. This particular set also comes with three different colors of straight bonds. Uh, and I'm going to show you a way that you could use that at the end of this video. Now, one thing that I don't love about the HGS set is that it doesn't come with any flexible bonds. For double bonds and triple bonds, you get these curved shape of bonds. And again, they are not flexible. So it's actually really difficult to fit them together to make a double bond. You can see here as I'm making this double bond, it just keeps popping off of the other atom. And then when I try to make a triple bond, uh, add a third curved bond in there, it's basically impossible. I gave up pretty much immediately. The bonds fit very tightly in this set, meaning that I didn't have any issues with my molecules falling apart as I was building them. In addition to that, the molecules that I built were pretty stiff, meaning that I could twist them into different conformations and they would hold their shape without flopping around. And this is gonna be ideal for any student who is in organic chemistry. This set comes with the atoms that you would need to build octahedral molecules or trigonal planar or trigonal bipyramidal mo molecules. So it would also work really well for a general chemistry student. I used each set to build a model of cyclohexane so we could see all three of the sets side by side. This first one that we're looking at with the blue atoms, this is the cyclohexane mo model that I built using the Link Tour set. And to be honest, I don't love it. You see how the molecule is just kind of flopping around as I'm using it. It's really difficult to get this folded into a good conformation or shape of cyclohexane. It's difficult to see the bond angles. Um, the kit in itself I just thought was relatively poor quality and I don't recommend the Link Tour set for any student. Look at how floppy that cyclohexane is. This is the set that I built or this, the model that I built using the old knobby set. You can just see in comparison to the Link Tour set that it is a lot stiffer. The bonds just kind of pop themselves into the right shape. Uh, it's a lot easier to have the molecule hold its conformation. It's a great set. 
And then last, this is a cyclohexane model that I built using the HGS set. You can see there's even more stiffness in these bonds. The molecule is really holding its shape well. Um, this is a great set for viewing bond angles and different conformations of molecules. My favorite set for an organic student is anything by HGS Polyhedron. And if you are a general chemistry student or you just really like the look of a bubbly set, then I recommend something by Old Nobby.